now. Sup, guys? Yo, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> this is never going to go seriously. intro ever. <laughs> And don't be so Classy. antagonistic to a, our, our audience. Classy. What up? What up, bitches? <laughs> what? No, we can't call them bitches anymore? Hey, hey all bitches. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just started like that every time. Hey. Okay. How's it going? Well, Tokyo Ghoul, what do we got? Because... <sighs> Because, like, neither of us suggested this, so, I mean, we got to go over plot, right? Yeah. Or do we, or do we assume everyone's seen this by now? Because, like, this is, like, I mean, this is a good show. Like, animation's well done. I mean, I, I think it was pretty popular, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I got it suggested to me by one of my coworkers, yeah. like, a while ago. And... Your coworkers aren't as much weebs as you are, so, like... I, it was actually the it was actually the oh. one coworker I could talk to about oh, like anime and stuff. It, oh, it's the other weeb. Okay. So what? <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna call people weebs now. Yeah. Why am I? Oh, why angry. do I have to be the weeb? <laughs> why? Because I don't know. I I just started watching shows. Like, give me a break here. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, no, we're talking about Tokyo Girl, and um. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. I super body count. I got really like I read more like of the manga than like I watched of the show, and like I got I got okay far in it, but not like I got really disinterested in it. Um, yeah, I don't see why. I don't see why. Like, okay, so so the show is set up in in a couple different ways. Um, I'll say the first, the starting part is this this human right gets attacked by this or falls in love with this ghoul, and this ghoul like tries to kill him because ghouls can only eat human flesh. Cool. Everything or, else tastes like tastes like excrement. Oh, well, like they can't eat it. Like legit in the, in it, the makes the them, show, it makes them. It makes them sick. sick. Yeah, it makes them sick. So like, so like he's he's all into this, and um, somebody some somebody something intervenes and uh drops girders on this girl rise rise who's uh who we'll get to in a bit, um and then Ken is it. Yeah. Yeah, Ken. So like Ken's our main character and has these um organs of a ghoul put into him making because him... he be, because he when he got attacked by Rise, he was on the brink of death. Yeah, he he was he was going to die but he wasn't dead yet. So the surgeon's like, "Oh, we'll just throw this girl's parts in him and we'll call it good." Um I Which don't I don't understand, considering they're probably mashed and crushed. Yeah, I don't. I I don't ask questions normally when that kind of thing happens. I just go, okay, so they want to have some sort of conflict. So the first part of the show is him getting coming to terms with him being a ghoul now. So like, because he's been a human his entire life. So but now he's, him he, being he he's only half ghoul. Yeah, he's only half ghoul. But <laughs> but still, for for the sake of argument, he's pretty much full ghoul. Yeah, because he can't like, really eat like human food well, anymore. He can't, he can't eat human food. Food period. The only thing like human that the ghouls can like digest is coffee. Uh, coffee and human. So like those those are the two options he has. Is coffee. I'm and talking human. about I'm talking about like human food. Well, yeah, He's... no, that's that's only human food that they can have. So like, so I mean that's that's super interesting, right? Like I mean that's that's kind of a cool like I don't know I don't Why necessarily Why coffee? Dude, that's that's another good question and I was going to bring that up, but I can see why they'd pick coffee because it's kind of just something that many people have any time of the day and like it's it's, a it's also thing. I I I guess they also consider it like a palate cleanser yeah. for a lot of things like coffee like it, to clear like your like your your nose which is directly correlated with taste it like you, they tell you to sniff coffee beans or coffee grounds, from and a, it'll clear out your like all sense in your nose. I'll say, I'll say from a writing perspective, it makes sense because it's a communal thing, right? 
like specifically in Japan, it's a very communal, like, you know, meals are communal, but like having coffee is also a communal thing. Like, it's not like the States where you just kind of throw coffee in and, you know, you wait for it and then you come pick up a cup of coffee. It's very much like, uh, it's, it's an art form almost there. They have, they actually have like baristas and stuff like yeah. that. So, I mean, like it, it makes sense as a sort of building of a community thing. I think they could have picked something other than coffee and still been okay with it. But that being said, it does make sense. It, in a weird way. In terms, of a, in, terms, in terms of a writing perspective, in terms of a making sense perspective, fuck it. Um, they, 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 instead of coffee, it's margaritas. Yeah, yeah, we'll just, just, just copious amounts of alcohol. I'm going to need copious <laughs> amounts of alcohol. That's all I need. I'll make it. Don't worry about it. It's not coma. I'm not comatose yet. I can still talk. Give me more. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's my life. I can waste it however I want. Like, wasted. Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're dealing with, so dealing with Ken, and he gets saved by uh, Toka, right? Uh, T-O-U-K-A? Toka? Toka-chan? Yeah. The, the girl with the purple hair who's super yeah, hot. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, care yeah. that she's killing people. Like, I still have the weirdest boner. <laughs> the weirdest dude not, like not she's just killing, opponent, she's the, killing the and weird. consuming people and i'm just like well fuck bitch is hot like i'm not even mad right now like all well like she, red flags she, should be popping she, up i'm just mm. she's she's like she's kind of like i don't really want to kill but i, I have to i she's 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 much more comfortable being a ghoul well, sh because she's always been a ghoul. Yeah, she's always been a ghoul. So, so there's there's that kind of dichotomy, and I don't. Know, I like her because I mean she's she's kind of the she's kind of the anchor of the entire show. Is that is that am I wrong by saying that? Because she's yeah she's kind of like on the edge, but like everybody is on the edge in this show. <laughs> Like, she's the one that you can, like, depend on for being a consistent character throughout. Yeah. At no point does she do anything out of character. No, she's pretty much... So, so I'd say she's... She's pretty the, much her. So she's a solid force, and she's kind of the, the one that, um, you, like, they always refer back to because she's consistent throughout. Um, then we have Hanami, right? Who's the uh, who's the little girl, the orphan girl? I shouldn't say orphan. Spoilers: she gets orphaned. Um, and oh yeah, she's the one that they're like taking care of in the yeah. Uh... They're taking care of her because because um, of horrible things that happened. It's a body count show, all right. People are gonna die. We're talking a about lot. eating. Yeah, a lot of people die. Um. And I mean, we have there's there's a there's more characters that kind of come and go. Ken's best friend Hyde. Yep, Ken the Hyde. Hyde actually, I think they did a good job on him, which is really weird because he's just he's just like he's the one who tries basically tries like without knowing it tries to keep Ken give Ken like his humanity and yeah, sanity. Yeah, he, he keeps him. Intact. He he keeps him. He keeps him grounded. He keeps him like from going like, full ghoul. From going full ghoul, which is super interesting, and I think this is the only time in a show that I've seen someone disappear almost completely from the show, come back later, and actually be effective. Am I wrong? Like him as a character is more about, um, like you know him. Or uh, our main character Ken retaining humanity, and it is he like disappears for a long period of time, and then when they're reunited, like he's in full effect. He's still there, like you know, kind of as a as I, I hate to say anchor again, but like as one of those people that like brings his humanity back. Like you yeah. don't see that in very many shows and have it be effective because like I like. 
you know, I'm like, oh, Toks is running around and trying to find him, and Ken's bleeding everywhere, because of course Ken's bleeding everywhere, quit being a fucking... Um, and then, like, <laughs> and, like, Ken wakes up, and you're just like, okay, so, cool, you're in the coffee shop, cool, like, you know, you're expecting to see Toka with him, or you're expecting someone to have found him, and the last person you think of is the one who finds him, which is Hyde, and, or Hide? Hide? I think it's Hide. Um. Hide. <laughs> we'll just say Hide. Well, I'm gonna say Hide, because I think it sounds better. But, um... But then, Sounds like, more they, Japanese. But they have that reunion, and, like, it's still heartfelt. Like, you can still, like, like there's still an emotional reaction as a viewer that that, that relationship means. Well, like, that relationship means something. You know what I mean? Yeah. like It's not like me where friends. I can just shoot you on the side of the road and just leave you there. Like, you feel oh, like please, these people need each other. That. You I, wouldn't do that. No, because I wouldn't want jail time. But, like, I could. <laughs> How would you explain me not showing up in these anymore? I know, right? <laughs> and, like, oh, you know what's really funny? I can just move you off the side. Yep, nope, like, he's gone now, eh? <laughs> But, like, that's just, like, that's just kind of how it is. So, like, the whole, like, the whole series itself is about loss, you know? Like, there's no, there's not one person that wins in this entire series, right? Can we just put no. it that way? Like, everyone's, everyone's losing everything. Yeah. So like I I will say that uh just the like the whole premise like the the person who runs the coffee shop, the old guy, what's his name? Oh, I know what uh, you're talking, I know what you're talking about. Um Yoshimar uh, yeah, Yoshimura. Yoshimura? Yoshimura? Yeah. Yeah. Like just when they're uh when Ken is like captured and being tortured before he just awakens like his full powers and like his hair turns white, I guess. Uh, and, like, they're trying to break him out, and then you just find out what kind of ghoul Yoshimura is. Yeah. Well, how like... he's the owl. The one that, like, all of the ghoul hunters are, like, scared shitless of. Yeah, I mean... It's like, super... he's taken out, like, hundreds of us. Like, literally hundreds. And And what's worse is that, like you realize how that kind of power comes to be beforehand. I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember that, but like, so ghouls can gain more power by eating other ghouls. Oh uh, yeah. I forgot about that. So, so like Ken, Ken at one point was pushed to the brink already have consumed quote unquote consumed re rise. Rize. Rize. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, not not actually consumed, but like body parts taken because obvious organ transplant. So like, so like he actually eats another ghoul and starts gaining. Like he gained the white hair that only happened after he lost his mind and had to eat this other ghoul. And then he starts gaining more power, and it becomes kind of a struggle for him not just to maintain humanity, because his humanity is lost at some point. He loses himself a couple yeah, times. Yeah, because, like, because throughout the thing, he has, like, Rize, like, in his mind, kind of talking to him, being like, yeah, you're a ghoul now. Flip shit. Yeah. But you I mean, can do that. I think I think that's a super cool part throughout the first part of the show is him struggling with this am I a human am I a ghoul what is it to be a human what is it to be a ghoul like I thought it a, was so slow though to build up to like just him doing something That is true it is really slow It was um, like ungodly slow But but I think I think what the payoff is through that entire slow process of him questioning that which by the way in the anime it's not that long it really isn't um in com it's like, in comparison it's like, to a lot of other shows that go a lot uh, slower Let's put it like this the manga I think it took like at least two maybe three volumes Okay yeah no that's way too long That's way too long It's 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 faster in the anime it really is. But, um, like, so there's that struggle. But I think that struggle, like, pays off because it goes from it being an internal struggle. What is it to be human? What is it to be a ghoul? Like, where do I fit? To the ghoul-human war, basically. 
you know like i think they translated his particular problem into a i wouldn't say global problem but at least a um a japan country wide problem very well yeah which i think is what made it stick out in my eye was the translation from it being a personal show and them introducing the characters through this more personal setting and then going into this wartime within i within 12 episodes it's not well is was it within 12 was there two seasons of tokyo ghoul or is it just one i think i just watched one so it must have been just 12 episodes but i know there's uh tokyo ghoul re i did not watch that one i just wanted to do tokyo ghoul so yeah no that's that's kind of my view on it at least like I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to go in too much detail because I think there's a lot here that people should watch. You know like, what I mean? It wasn't bad. I just didn't like it. Yeah. No, I, I can understand. I can get that. I mean, like, I don't know. I it was really actiony when it got to the like, the people who are attracted to the beginning part wouldn't be attracted to the second part of the show. Or I shouldn't say wouldn't be attracted, but aren't necessarily attracted to the more wide scale fighting where if you like the wide scale fighting, the beginning of the show is going to be really slow. So like, it's a very weird dichotomy. I didn't, I like, I liked the entire thing, but that's because I really like the drive of the plot. And I, w- I will say one of my favorite characters is the crazy gourmet. Oh, you like the gourmet? I couldn't stand him. He was he was funny. Just See, because he like he would go off on these tangents like, "Oh my god, I can't wait to eat you." And oh, it's so good. Shut up. See, I think he was just too animated. Like if they if they toned him back, I think it would have been better, but again, like I don't know, the the really eccentric characters, the gourmet and Nico, if you remember Nico. Nico Go. He's he's the one with the weird glasses, the 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 lip gloss or the um the makeup on. That guy. I don't mm. know if you I don't know if you remember him because he was pretty late in the series. Yeah, I don't remember him too well. Okay, but I think if they if they cut down and made people more realistic, like I think they would have had a much better a much better coherency to it. I believe is the right one. Um, what is it? Juice, Juso? You remember Juso? The the girl, or not the girl, the guy, but he looked like a girl with the white hair and like all the stitches. Oh, the uh, hunter? Yeah, the or, hunter. Like, the, the ghoul hunter? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't that... know. Like, I, I thought that was just too much, right? Like, yeah. you can't relate. Like, if you make a character so outlandish, people can't relate to him. You don't feel bad for them. Or you, you know, like, like there was some, there was some questionable moments where I'm like, why should I care about this character when they're literally just insane? You know, like that being said, there's a lot of very good relatable characters that have some horrible things happen to them, which actually hit the feels pretty damn hard. (laughs) Am I, am I wrong with that one? Right? No, they 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 kind of hit they hit so the feels. Like, They're so pretty like, good at that. So like I'm 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 going with I recommend only like I recommend the show because of it is a body with with knowledge that it is a body count show and you will get hit in the feels. Which are two things that don't normally go together but they're really well entwined in this one, I have to say. <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess like it's it's a, it's a, its own thing really. Like I've no I haven't really read slash seen on anime like this at least in a long time. Dude, you haven't seen Dead Man Wonderland? No. Dude, we're watching Dead Man Wonderland sometime. Okay. It's another body count. It's a body count movie. Not movie, Jesus. but a body count show. It's super good. Dude, it's super Why? good. Why? Because body counts, man. <sighs> you can you can tell how good a show is just by the amount of bo- dead bodies you're picking off your screen. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, by the way. But no, it's it's a really it's a good one. It's a good one. We might have to watch that. 
So right. yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, no. I'm. I mean, I give it a thumbs up. I say definitely watch it. Um, Greg's on the fence or to uh, maybe skip it. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's not my, it was not my cup of tea. Okay. Yeah. No, I loved it. I almost went upstairs and uh stabbed Pat afterward. It was pretty good. Oh my god. I do weird things like with like especially with like shows like Tokyo Ghoul. I'll put uh Mirai Nikki in there too. Like Oh god. Like weird stuff happens to me where I kind of go nuts and like almost stab people. It's pretty funny. Yeah. We have to do Mirai Nikki. Dude, it's so good. But, like, it's... I just watched it. Like, I just, like, I watched it before, and I just rewatched it because I love that show. <sighs> I'm scared to rewatch it. Dude, like, at least you're not watching it with me. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, I literally almost stabbed Pat. Like. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Glad I live away. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going with that one. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, shoot. What are we doing next? Greg, it's oh. your turn. Yes, yes, it is. It's your turn. You... So, uh, my suggestion for you, I'm I cannot pronounce the full name of it you're... because it is super long. You're not helping. So I'll just. It is going to be uh, Kono Subarashi. Kono Subarashi. Do you, can you like post it in freaking Skype so I know what the heck we're talking about here? Yep. The, I, I'm gonna butcher this, but the full name of it is Kono Subarashi. Sekai ni Shuku Fuku Wu. Oh, what? <laughs> yep. What? What is that, <laughs> dude? Copy paste that. I can't. I can't even search for the it. Right the genre. The genres they mention are adventure, comedy, fantasy, romance, supernatural. I mean, it sounds interesting. I mean, yeah. why not, right? It, it's. I. I actually really liked it. Yeah, I we, learned. The copy I, I want to see what the freaking show looks like. Give me holy cow! How hard is it to highlight and right click, man? Um, when my mouse was on the other side of my goddamn area, Dude, everywhere. I got two screens, man. I can still do it faster than you. Well, shut up. <laughs> well, well then. Nailed it. <laughs> Copy. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we're gonna be doing that, I guess. That's a thing that we can do. Yep, it, um, it's it's t only ten episodes with one OVA, so it's eleven total. Kono Kono Suba. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Okay, that's, that's the short. Oh, that's, I, I was looking at the short. The short. Yeah, that is the super short version of it. Okay, I mean, it looks interesting. What the heck is with these girls, man? All right. <laughs> Dude, am I getting like straight up Rune Soldier vibes from this? I don't know what that is, but God. Maybe? Damn it, dude. All right. All right. No, this is this going to call call for revenge? Am I going to have to get revenge next time? I don't know. All right. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um Yeah, no. I'm I, I don't know. What else can we say? I uh, leave more suggestions. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure there's more suggestions we have yet to get to, but um if you liked the Tokyo Ghoul review, uh, make sure to punch Greg in the face when you see him, because he's a dick. It's making me watch Konosuba. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, oh, it better not be. It better not it's be. It's not Kaon, okay? All right. So, yeah, no, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. That's um, the guy who gave me Hanamaru Kindergarten. <laughs> and you loved every inch of that dick. I did. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, 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 we're not getting the... All right, all right. See you, Markiplier. <laughs>